Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Pickett, Wisconsin on this July 17th. It's a very beautiful day. It's about 67 degrees or even less. We had a cool front come through. It's beautiful out. And I've got a couple of engines today. I'm going to do kind of a four-stroke shootout. On this side of the stand, I've got my recently reconfigured Inya 46-4 cycle. It's set up for reverse rotation. And on this side, I've got my OS FS48 Surpass engine, which I can't recall if I only made a video short of this engine or if I've run this engine at all since I put bearings in it. I don't recall. So this engine I ran the other day and I already posted a video of it, but I wanted to kind of do a comparison of two similarly displaced four-stroke engines. This one might require some tuning. This one's pretty much good to go. So the only thing that's going to be different here is they're both sporting 11.6 APC props. However, this one, since it's reverse rotation, is a pusher prop that's been flipped over the other way. This is your standard APC 11.6 prop. This engine has an Inya number 3 glow plug in it. This engine has an OSF glow plug in it, but they're both running the same 5% fuel. So those are the parameters for this run. Let's just do it. Now I am. All right, so this one, I gotta have my Inya lead. Now since this is a reverse rotation, I have to remember to turn it backwards to prime it. And I also have to remember to reverse the leads on my starter here. Otherwise, it'll probably never start. I don't know if I had that, did I have that? should run. Okay, let's fire this beautiful engine up. See what she does. Listen to this idol all day long. These are four strokes and four strokes do not make maximum power at the peak RPM or the highest RPM possible, but just for 
the sake of it, I was leaning it out pretty good there so that we could kind of see what the peak could be for a four-stroke engine. Ordinarily, I wouldn't peak a four-stroke engine like that, but for this comparison, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I've reversed the starter now. I know which way is full throttle, I think. Let me try this again. Okay. So full throttle is this way for choking. And we'll fire this engine up and see if it needs any kind of tuning at all. That's what started at full throttle. Already seems like I don't have my throttle stop set properly. I could have swore I'd check that, but maybe not. Okay, so there you go. There's a quickie shootout between these two engines. Now they're reversed in orientation. This is the OSFS48 Surpass. This is my Inya 46 4 cycle with reverse rotation. 
So the pros and cons, in my opinion, of these engines are obviously four-stroke engines are not designed to make peak power at peak RPM like a two-stroke engine. So yes, I was tweaking them out to see the peak RPM just for the heck of it because I don't have a static thrust set up anymore to actually just measure power. So the other things that I would be personally comparing is ease of operation, idle, idle sound, transition, and I may need to run this Anya 46 four cycle just another time here so I can listen to the idle a little bit more, but clearly OS's carburetor is superior in all respects to the Inya carbs because I have never had an Inya air bleed carb, and this is also an air bleed carb, I've never had an Inya air bleed carb of, of any size transition and as well as an OS carb, period. They just don't. I don't know why, they just don't. That's not to say they're bad carbs, it's just that they don't transition super crisp like that does after any kind of an idle. Now, the exhaust note, well, that's pretty close because on the OS I'm running their exhaust, their muffler, and on the Inya I'm just doing a straight pipe. I love the sound of both of them idling, and that's why I want to try. I want to turn this Inya, Inya on one more time and just listen to the idle. So there'll be some bonus footage here at the end of this, so we can just listen to that. But I mean, the low speed mixtures were set properly using the pinch test so you know the engine is just not going to have that same snappy transition like the OS does but as far as peak RPM the engine just by far blew away the surpass I mean same pitch prop same diameter prop and I think this was well over 14,000 RPM whereas this was only like 10,000 maybe 600 if even so I know they're four-stroke engines and that's not how you measure anything but if you just want to look at sheer grunt the Inya has this OS beat all over the place now the exhaust note sound they both sound great I love four-stroke engines anyway so there's our comparison of these two comparably displaced four-stroke engines okay this is bonus footage of the Inya 46 four cycle engine because I want to just play with it a little bit more because I like it So let's prime it again. Oops wrong way pusher configure or reverse rotation set about right and it's a lot less humid today too so that may be helping this transition because this transition wasn't nearly as good the other day when it was really humid. So maybe it's just high humidity conditions that these Enya engines don't like because the humidity is very low today and the transition is much much better.
maybe that's why while well, all those years I lived in Florida where it was humid all the time, why well, I never really enjoyed running these engines quite as much because it was just always humid. music. So Chris from Perky Plains RC, I recall telling you in email when you started to talk about doing your uproar, Tower Hobbies uproar build, that one of the engines I flew or used when I had one of my tower uproars was this. Can you imagine how fun that plane would be with that in the nose? <laughs> 